shooting really late and we were going over and I was like, God damn it, we're not going to make a plan. How are we going to get out there? And Malcolm goes, I know exactly how we get to Toronto. I said, how? He goes, we drive. And I was like, well, it's fine. I figured that much, but I'm too tired. After we're done here, I'm going to be able to sleep so I can play in the morning. He's just like, well, we get somebody to drive us. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Who? And he's like, prom bus. And I said, prom bus? He goes, the fucking prom bus. Do you ever see those prom buses? Kids are always driving around in like in May. And I was like, I guess. They're kind of a little, a little tart cart looking affair. He's like, yeah, with disco lights and liquor. <laughs> I said, I've seen. He's like, let's get one of those. That way we could stretch out and shit like that, and lay down and whatnot, and you know we could sleep. We just get a car where we're leaning on each other in the back. And I was like, all right, fair enough. Maybe you could get a subtle prom bus. He's like, oh, it'll be subtle. <laughs> and I said, well, what else will we need? He's like, we're definitely going to need some bedding and stuff like that if we're going to sleep in this thing. I said, good point. I said, here's some cash. Go out and get us some bedding. I said, do me a favor. I don't want this bedding. When you're done with it, it's yours. So make sure you buy the bedding that you like. And he's like, I was going to do that anyway. I said, uh, now I just need a pillow and, and maybe a, one of those cheap ass comforters or something like that. He goes, no, we're going to do this right, man. We're going to be traveling that far, sort of sacked out on the floor and whatnot. We're going to get body pillows. And I said, what do you mean body pillows? I said, you know, got a body pillow? It's amazing. You know, like the size of you, you'll cuddle up with it in bed. This is just your best friend when you're sleeping. And I said, I don't have one, I'm married. Um, but it's kind of the same thing. He said, yeah, very much so. I'll get you a body pillow. Oh, you might leave your wife after this. That's all right. So the plan was made. I said, dude, show up. You go take care of the bus. Get, get the fucking gear, whatever it is that you want to sleep on. Meet me at the set, man, because I'm going to be shooting right up until the end, and then we'll leave right from set. So Malcolm shows up um, later on and said, I'm shooting all night. We let the sound crew go because we went late into the night. And as you go later and later, you want to get rid of any department you <coughs> can, so you're not paying overtime. So all we needed was camera department, Bruce and Tracy. It was just to do some uh, action stuff. Them walking around the house with guns and stuff. They're about to break into the drug dealer's house in the third act of Cop Out. So there's a lot of that running around the house stuff, no dialogue. So, we're shooting, and generally when we shoot, you know, there's a camera here, and a couple feet away there's a monitor, and I sit behind it and watch TV. In order to direct a movie, you sit there and watch TV. It's very strange. So, I'm watching TV, and there's Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan in the frame. They both got their guns like this and shit like that. And since there's uh, no sound being recorded, we'd let traffic go. So I'm hearing cars galore. I'm not thinking about it. Generally, when you're shooting, you lock everything down so you can't hear anything so you record good sound. But since we weren't recording sound at that point, I like let the fucking traffic go. So I'm not thinking about all the car noises that I hear. I'm watching the monitor, there's Bruce and Tracy. Well, Bruce, well, Bruce Tracy is like this with his gun up. And Bruce, as we all know, carries his gun. <laughs> <laughs> So he's doing some of that fucking shit, and I'm watching on the monitor, and all of a sudden I see uh, Bruce, something catches attention off the screen, and then Deuce sitting there like... <laughs> 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 so they're cracking up, and I'm like, what the fuck, man? Everyone's gonna punch me, it's like 12 o'clock at night. Chaser light was blinking in the place. You could see the stripper pole. 